dropping out of work at 28 made the palace offer one he couldn't refuse. Uh, I haven't really been inundated with offers, but when uh, I was in touch with Mr Novitz, the chairman, uh, it was just an opportunity he can't refuse. I think looking at my situation, I was happy with the, the job in football anyway. But to, a, to come to a club of Palace's size, it's a feather in my cap. His number two is the former Palace and Wales centre-half Ian Evans. He spent the last three years under Norman Hunter at Barnsley. The pairing on a two-year contract was made by Ron Nodes, neither man knowing too much about the other, though they readily admit they share a common love of the game and the need of a job. Do you know each other at all? Oh, intimately. <laughs> it's met this morning. Yeah. yeah, we've known each other for about a week, ten days. Mm -hmm. But old um, That's all pals in football terms. Coming into the job, you always think, what, what kind of a manager am I going to be? I'm going to be a Tommy Doherty or a Dave Sexton. I think at the end of the day, you've just got to be yourself. And you, when I decided that I want to stay in football, I had to take a very brave chairman or board of directors to appoint me. And I'm only grateful that Ron Nodes and his team decided to do so. And when they offered me the job and I came down and saw the facilities and, and everything here, the staff, there was no decision to make. I just came straight away. I, I see this job as a, uh, a growing process for myself and the club, so that if we do get success in the near future, we've got the foundation to support it.